Hey, we got the uh, 117 out. Did a little outdoor flying today. Not the best conditions, a little cold and overcast, but we'll get it going. Um, last flight, uh, I put the bigger motor on. I finally looked, actually looked at the motor. Uh, it's 3,200 kV. I threw it on the watt meter, and uh, it's pulling like 35 amps. <laughs> so way overkill on it for now, but I just wanted to throw a big motor on it, see what it'd do, short bursts and such. Um, I had nosed it in pretty hard and it had snapped the nose off, you know, right in here across the front. And so a little hot glue and it's back on again. And then I went in on the tail and uh, added some strip carbon. It almost makes a triangle with that and that really, really stiffened up the tail. <laughs> so you think it nosed in because of the tail flexed? Yeah, what I think happened is the, the, the rudders, the, just the drag from them, pushing back, basically effectively gave it down the elevator. Yeah, because you're into the wind right now, and it looks like even at low throttle, it actually penetrates pretty good. Can you do um, a high speed pass just above the tree line just so we, because when it's up higher, there's no reference. Okay, this is into the wind. Yep. I know, that's good, because I have the trees in the background so we can actually get a, an idea. It scoots pretty good. I'm thinking, you know, with a normal motor, like the 1700, something like that, this will probably be comparable speed. Sure. <laughs> no, that's really nice too, to, to have some, because it's blown about, I'd say 12 to 15 right now. You can't tell by looking at the jet, but it's actually kind of, Windy and a little bumpy too. Um, but it, yeah, the jet seems to cut through the wind really good, which means it should be a decent windy day flyer. Yep. Yeah, you still got that terrific low end. You know, you can fly really slow with good control too. So it's really nice when you have an aircraft that has you know a good speed range like that. It just makes it more fun. Another note on this is the on my particular plane, when I put this motor in in it, I used the existing motor mount propeller back further than the the uh, Blue Wonder I initially had in it. Yeah, it's quieter. So the, the propeller slot's a lot bigger. <laughs> yeah, it also made it quieter too. Yeah. Getting it further away from the leading edge slot. Yep. The two turbulence, do you want any slow speed stuff close in? Okay, we're gonna try again with a little bigger battery. Yeah, put a 1350 in it, it'll handle the amps a little bit better than the 1000. Yep. Uh, Probably help it a little bit too with uh, the turbulence, although this thing isn't really getting buffeted much, I'm surprised. It's pretty steady. Yeah.
They climb out. You know, for, for an EPP plane, and considering you know, it's an F-117, which isn't very aerodynamic, that's, that's actually very good speed. Out of battery?